All right, Advanced Math A, here we go. We've got Lesson 7.1.5, <clears throat> More Conditions for Triangle Congruence. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is side, side, side congruence. And this one just says that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides from another triangle, then the triangles are going to be congruent to each other. So let's say that I start here with a side length that's four centimeters. So there I've got four centimeters. And then I do another side with four centimeters. So there we've got one side that's congruent on both of those. And then I'm just going to make another one somewhere around here. And I'm going to make this uh, two centimeters long. And I'm going to do it the other way on this other one. Let me make sure I get these angles right. Oops, 2CM. All right, so that would make this last one. three point eight CM and then this one would be did I do it correctly? Yes. It came out correct. Three point eight. Uh, pretty close at least. So what we have here is we've got side 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 congruence. So if the sides, notice we don't know anything about the angles. But what happens is no matter how we rearrange these sides, they're going to make the same angles because they're all going to be stuck in one pattern. I mean, I could do one, two, three, or one, three, two, or two, three, one. It's all still going to be the same pattern of sides. So the angles are also going to be in the same pattern. So it's possible to not know anything about the angles, but still prove the triangles are congruent. If we can prove that all the sides are congruent, then that's enough to prove that all the angles are congruent as well. So this is one of our shortcuts. So let's do a congruent statement. If this is A, B, C, and this one is uh, D, O, G, dog. So here we would say, that triangle ABC is congruent. So A is between one and two tick marks. And then over here, uh, G is between one to two tick marks. Okay, and then over here, B was between two and three, and O is between two and three. Oh, I didn't mean to make that God, but whatever. I meant dog. The last one, C is between one and three. So D is between one and three. So this would be by side, side, side congruence. All right, next one. Can we prove two triangles congruent with only two sides? So is there a such thing as side, side congruence? And that answer to that one is going to be no. Because let's say that I started off the same way. And I've got four right here. And I put two on this side. Yeah, I think that was two. So there I've got four and two, and then the third side would be somewhere over here. Now, the problem with this one is there's nothing locking that third side in place. I could move this side either direction, and that would still be okay because it would still be a side and a side. So I could do another one over here with four as a length here, and I'll make my two length go this direction now. 
So here's my four centimeters. This is two centimeters. Well, this other side over here is way bigger. So there's no way those two triangles can be congruent. Now, they do have two sides that are congruent. This side's congruent to this side, and this side's congruent to this side. But since there's nothing locking this angle in place, see over here on this last one, the third side locked to this angle in place. But over here, we have nothing locking those angles in place. So that just lets this one swing wherever we want it to. This two centimeter side can go anywhere, really. And so side side does not prove congruence. So you need three sides to prove that they're congruent. Just two is not enough. All right, the question comes up, does side-side angle work? All right, so side-side angle, does that work? And the answer is going to be no, and here's why. So let's say that I've got... Um, how am I going to do this? If I've got a side here of four centimeters. And let's say that I've got a side here of two centimeters. And then let's say that this angle over here that that's locked in place right there. Okay, so looking at this, you might be looking at it and saying, well, yeah, I think it could actually work. But there are other ways that we could actually make this work. And it has to do with this angle. See, because what we could have done is we could have switched. Oh, dang it. Sorry, I had to pause there real fast. All right, so I've got side-side angle. So the reason why this doesn't work is that it's actually possible to have this angle, this side, and this side and still not have it work. And here's how we could do it. Nothing is stopping this two centimeter side from being where it's at right now. This, this angle isn't locked in place, right? Because this is the angle that's locked in place. So there's another place I could have put this two centimeter side. I could have also put it over here. This is also two centimeters right here. So here I've got this side, this four centimeters, and this two centimeter side. Sorry, this angle, this four centimeter side, and this two centimeter side. And then I've got the same one in orange, the same side of four centimeters here, and the same side of two centimeters here. So what we see here is this two centimeter side could have actually been in two different places. It could have been here or it could have been there. So that means that it's not locked in place. And for them to be congruent, we need to do something to lock it in place. And you might have noticed that this is also, if you spell it backwards, you get a donkey. So I always say that donkeys don't make congruent triangles. So the reason why they don't make it congruent triangles is because this two centimeter side over here could have been in two different places. So in order for it to work, there has to be only one place that that two centimeter side can show up in. In this case, there's two separate places that the two centimeter side could have shown up in. So it does not prove congruent triangles just having side side and angle or angle side side. 
donkeys do not make triangles that are congruent. All right, next page. Side angle, side congruence. This one says if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So let's say that I've got a side over here. An angle right here. And a side there. So I'm going to call this four centimeters here, two centimeters here, and then this angle. So we've got side, angle, side. Now if I did another triangle, with this four centimeter side, and I replicated this angle right there. See, that angle is locking this side in place because it can only be in one spot. So it's gonna lock this one in place So this angle is the same, and this is the same, which means there's only one distance for this last part to be. This is locked in place by this angle, and this is locked in place. So those two are locked in place. Their endpoints are locked in place. So there's only going to be one spot that I can put this last side. because these other two sides are locked in place by this angle. So those two triangles have to be congruent. That angle between these two sides is locking those sides in place so that this third side has to be exactly the same. So we can say on this one, let's call this X, Y, and Z, and this one M, N, and P. So since we have a side, an angle, and a side with that angle locking these two sides in place, and the angle's included because it's right in between, on the other triangle, the same side, the same angle, and the same side over here is going to lock this last side in place so that they have to be the same as well. So we can say now that triangle X, Y, Z is congruent to triangle M and P by side angle side congruence. All right, so we've got our triangle congruence theorems. So far, we've gotten, uh, let's see, we've got angle side angle. We've got angle, angle, side. Today we added side, side, side. And then we just added side, angle, side. So we've got four congruence theorems that work. Okay, here's the ones that we found out don't work. We found out earlier that angle, angle, angle does not work. Remember, that just makes similar triangles. It doesn't make congruent triangles. We found out today that side side doesn't work. Just having two sides, that's not enough. You have to have three of them. We also find that side side angle doesn't work, or if you write it backwards, you get a donkey. So donkeys don't work as well. But there's one more thing that does work, and it's a little bit weird because it's like angle side side. This one's called hypotenuse leg.
All right, so I'm going to draw two right triangles. Hypotenuse leg only works in right triangles. So let's say that I've got this side congruent, this side congruent, this side congruent, and then these two angles are both 90. Now this looks like side side angle, side side angle. And what we said on that last page is no, it does not work. Side side angle does not work because we saw here that there were two different places you could put this one side. This one actually does work. We call this one HL. We call it HL because it is hypotenuse leg. Because it's a right triangle, this one actually will work. Now remember, in a right triangle, we have the Pythagorean theorem. Which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So what we can say here is because of the Pythagorean theorem, this squared plus this squared will equal this squared. Well, if I already know these two are the same, so let's say that this one were, I don't know, 10, and this would be 8. This side has to be 6. And if this side is 10 and this side is 8, by the Pythagorean theorem, this has to be 6. So what we find out here is using the Pythagorean theorem, in a right triangle, the third sides end up having to be congruent. And so what we have here is side, side, side. So what does HL say? HL says that if two right triangles have congruent hypotenuse and congruent legs, then they are congruent. So this is the one time where angle side side works and it only works in right triangles. And when it works in right triangles, we call that hypotenuse leg, HL. So there's actually five congruence theorems, angle side angle, angle angle side, side side side, side angle side, and hypotenuse leg. So hypotenuse leg is when you have right angles or right triangles, and the hypotenuses are congruent, and one of the legs are congruent. Even though it looks like side side angle or angle side side, we said that doesn't work, but in this instance it does because we could use the Pythagorean theorem to prove that this last side is congruent. All right, that's all I got. There you go. Enjoy.